So I'm Chrissy, by the way. And, and I'm Nicole. And, I'm, yeah, and, and then Dave, obviously. <laughs> Um, so when it did happen, we were just kind of in awe. We're like, oh my God, this is this is really happening. This is legit this time. Like it, it actually passed. And we're like, well, what are we gonna do? We have to celebrate. You know, we didn't think marriage would ever be an opportunity for us. We would be committed to each other, but we wouldn't have that same legal binding um, document that everyone else would have. So we decided to venture into DC, given we lived in Arlington at the time. Um, we went over towards the White House and you know, it was crowded, there was a bunch of people, but it was so peaceful and there were just smiles across everybody's faces. And like, it was just incredible to see the White House lit up in a rainbow and everyone there was just like, being so friendly to each other, like all you could embracing. do was smile. Yeah, embracing the moment yeah. and just like, we, you know, held each other's hand knowing that like the atmosphere we were in, there was like no fear at that moment in time and everything. So, and then the news articles actually started coming out and like the paper, which is the one we have um, framed and everything. So it was just a, an eye-opening moment that it actually finally came true. So it was- And we were- we were recently Incredible. out at that point and um, it was kind of a, a formative part of our life where, you know, we're, we're committed, we're, we're revealing this to, you know, um, to our family and friends and it just kind of outlined um, a, a future for us that we didn't really know that we, that we would have. So um, it was just so beautiful to see. It's actually placed uh, in our living room for the purpose of that, um, it's on display all the time. We have a shelf and everything for it. And the purpose behind that um, was just a reminder to us, um, a reminder to anybody that comes into our home and our family, um, just to, you know, the journey that we've been through and, uh, and even, I mean, more so generations before us. I mean, we're benefiting, we're benefiting from generations of work um, before us. And um, I think it just serves as a good reminder to everybody on what we've been able to do and um, where we still need to go. So we actually met at the University of Mary Washington. Um, it's in Fredericksburg, Virginia. Um, we had arrived in August of 2007, Seven. 2007 for field hockey um, preseason training. Um, we were instructed by our coach that we had to like right after practice immediately go to this it's called the Eagle One Center where you get your you know, your college ID that you have for like your four, four years. years. So I'm packing up. I was a goalie. I'm packing up all my goalie stuff. I feel like I'm really rushing and like trying to get there on time. We end up being like right behind each other in line. And I thought I'd recognize this girl, but she was done up. She is showered. Here I am still in my field hockey like practice gear. <laughs> and after that, like I just thought it was a hoot. So we started conversation and a great friendship started. And um, you know, through school, I think it, we realized that, you know, there was more here than we, um, than we originally thought and gave that a shot. And when moving to partnership and, and, and love it's just, uh, I just, you know, you just know, like she's, I just feel like she's my soulmate and it was meant to be and our paths crossed at, at you know, the right time in, in some ways, maybe not in others, but we are great friends, best of friends, um, and, and more so. Love her to pieces and couldn't even imagine what the last 10 plus years would have looked like without her. So, yeah. <laughs> so we got married October 22nd. The leaves are falling. It's like beautiful old Philly. It's underneath this, like, I don't know. It was just, it, yeah, it was, it was such perfect. a beautiful yeah. place. Um, what we didn't account for was that um, all of a sudden winter would appear on our day. Uh, <laughs> it ended up being like 30 something degrees. Um, and we had an outdoor ceremony. Everybody was bundled up in Ikea blankets. <laughs> uh, underneath our shambles and actually it was really sweet and beautiful and um we had a lovely ceremony nicole's um aunt um officiated our ceremony um and then we actually asked her and her wife um to sign that license for us so they've been very formative in our relationship and very supportive of us um so to have them uh, by our side for that um, and, and to do those important things with us was really meaningful we were surrounded by the people who love us most and um, really appreciative of that. So Nicole carried Avery and we had been planning for a really long time to have um, a child. And, you know, we worked through that process, which is a really difficult process to select um, the donor for him, um, uh, anonymous donor. You know, you're there from that moment, from that, from even the thought of having a child. 
um, all the way through all the doctor's appointments, all the blood tests, all the supporting your partner um, and supporting your future child. And, um, you know, our nation isn't, we've made great strides and, you know, uh, Nicole and I have witnessed, um, you know, marriage becoming a thing. And, um, but unfortunately in our country, we're not there yet where every state recognizes um, my signature on a birth certificate as a, a legal parental um, binding document. Right, um, for Avery. So to, in order to protect, uh, you know, our family rights and my right as a parent and make sure that he has, you know, two core people at his side, you know, we had to go through the process of hiring a lawyer, which we had a fabulous one, luckily, that understood the process. Um, you know, the process includes, well, I want to say like three different back background checks um, for both of us. It includes um, our financial records and conversations with social workers regarding, you know, our home status, um, what, it, you know, what our bank account looked like, what our personal relationship looks like. Um, but to have that moment where I had to sit there and um, prove to a judge and a social worker my value and um, that I would be a good parent. Um, you know, it's just disheartening. It's not something that I wanted to do. I'm actually kind of a shy person. And for me to have to reveal my entire life and background and, um, in order to do it, um, I'm not saying it wasn't worth it. It totally was worth it because it's secured, um, my family and it, it's given me, um, you know, uh, knowledge now that, uh, that I, that I know that I'm a legitimate parent, no matter where I go, no matter where we travel in whoever's eyes, nobody can take that away from me. I mean, it's incredible. It definitely puts things into perspective for you. Um, no matter how stressful the wor um, work day is going or the world with the pandemic and everything, like Avery is um, a typically a smiley, laughy, giggly um, baby. And like you look at him and all your other troubles seem to melt away. We love him to pieces and can't, it's hard to look back and imagine life now without him. And he's just been in our lives for just seven short months, which has flown by. Thank you. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.